We're back on the Morning Brew with friends with Vicente Ramirez, a public health specialist with Bernalillo County. Good to have you with us this thanks, morning. Thanks. Doesn't it me. smell wonderful here on the set with it all sure this does. stuff? This is so much fun. Yeah. Um, but Wednesdays, you know what that means? What's that? Burnco on the brew. There we go. <laughs> I love our graphic. It's nice. Right? And you, so you are a public health specialist, and you work on a special grant uh, to help both curb underage drinking and prescription drug abuse, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Bernalillo County, uh, we have a coalition. It's called Bernalillo County Alliance to Prevent Substance Abuse. And so what we, uh, we were awarded a grant, and with that grant, we are trying to reduce uh, underage binge drinking and prescription drug abuse. And so that brings us here today because uh, we're going to talk about uh, parents who host lose the most. Is it a giant grant, small grant? How big uh, a thing is well, it? Well, it's not, you know, it's always trying to It's never the, enough, though. It's never it? enough, <laughs> you know, but uh, we're, we're trying to make the most impact we can with it. Excellent, excellent. So this is, this is the poster, parents who host lose the most. And I think there is a, a lot of folks feel that, you know, it's all right if kids drink if they're at somebody's house. But that's, according <clears> to New Mexico's <throat> liquor laws, not really a good idea, right? Yeah, that's correct. And that's a misconception there that p most parents have. Um, there are two, two ways that you could actually drink, a minor can actually drink, and that's only under the Liquor Control Act in their own home, under their parent or guardian supervision. Uh, and the other one would be in some religious beliefs. Mm. Um, but of course, there's other health and, and safety risks associated with underage drinking. So it's, uh, we just don't, uh, it's not unacceptable and it's unsafe and unhealthy. And so the grant is here to tell people and, and basically spread the message that this is not a good idea. That is correct. That's, that's the whole purpose of this campaign here. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. And what happens to kids? I, I know that the, there's some statistics that say that kids who start drinking early uh, become basically dependent on alcohol later, right? Yeah, there, there's other health risks. Uh, they, be, they could become more dependent uh, on alcohol later on in life. Um, you know, there's, there's health risks associated with it and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, just, there's consequences as well for providing alcohol to minors. Uh, so what are those? What are the so, penalties? So, you know, the penalties, you could do 18 months in jail, $5,000 fine. Uh, you could get, uh, you know, a delinquent... Uh, uh, Child abuse problem or... Well, you know, in some cases, it just, you know, you'll leave it up to law enforcement if that's what they're going to do. But contributing to the delinquency of a minor is another major... Uh, Citation but parents can be prosecuted. Is they the, can is, be. Is the, is sure. the overall message, yes, right? Yes, that is correct. They can be prosecuted. And um, it's not, so it's not, it's not legal at all for parents to serve alcohol to anybody else's kids, other than, anybody's kids other than their own at home, right? Well, that is correct. Okay. Yeah, you cannot, it's okay in your own home to provide alcohol to your, to your child, but you, under any circumstances, you cannot give it to your friends, your, your, your kids' friends. Right. Uh, even with their parents' consent, it's it's not acceptable. You can't do that. You can be prosecuted under. Is law. this under 18 or under 21? Under or 21, you under cannot. 21. Yeah, and legal drinking age is 21. Right. In the state of New Mexico. So. So how did the county get this big grant? Can you take us back to maybe how how all this started? Well, I can't dive too far back with that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, like I said, the Bernalillo County Alliance to Prevent Substance Abuse trying to reduce underage binge drinking and prescription drug abuse. And so through some of our focus groups, uh, we were identified that uh, minors are getting uh, their hands on, on alcohol, either in their own home or through uh, other people's houses and you know in their liquor cabinet and so on and so forth. And so um, through these focus groups, we identified that we need to try to figure out ways to um, reduce the access to, to youth. And so informing parents is, uh, is, is one of those ways that we're trying to do that. Um, you know, and myself, you know, I, I had no idea that, you know, you could actually, okay, it's okay for a kid to drink in your own home, your own child and stuff, because, you know, you're always thinking, you know, there's, there's health and safety risks associated with that. Um, but sometimes, you know, you see parents that are letting their kids drink because uh, mm -hmm. they're there and they're watching them and so on and so forth. But um, it's not okay to give it to their friends. Right. Even though they may, they may drink occasionally, it's not okay to give it to their friends. All right. Now, this, this grant also covers uh, prescription drug abuse, right? That is correct. And so what's that, what, what does that part of the campaign cover, and how are you taking that message out? Oh, there's, a, there's, there's several different things we're trying to do with that. But uh, Bernalillo County has, you know, um, we have the uh, Be Above the Influence campaign, and 
and we, we do a lot in our office. We have the mobile, mar the mobile market that's going to be starting up here pretty soon. Wait, what's the mobile market? The mobile farmer's market. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, yeah, so, we, we, so how does that contribute to, or how does that help with these messages? Oh, that's, not, that's totally separate okay. from this, but that's within our office mm. in general, kind of some stuff that we're... Uh, we're because you're a public health specialist, so everything involved in public health, like eating healthy fruits and vegetables and all of that helps, right? Yeah, that's correct. But if you want some more information on what the... Uh, how we're trying to reduce underage uh, prescription drug abuse and, and, uh, and underage drinking, you could visit uh, burnco.gov slash do not host for more information. That sounds like a plan. And so what about local honey and local bee products? Is that <laughs> healthy for you? You know, uh, you know I, I, I encourage it. I love local honey. It's awesome. Right? Helps with the allergies. It, that's what they say. I need to try some of that this year. I, I keep telling myself every year I need to go get some local honey. Mm -hmm. This year, this year's my year, I think. Yeah, yeah why not? Might as well try it. Right? We'll be back in a couple of seconds in the morning brew with friends.